All right, there we go. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Welcome to Time Warp Art. Today we are going to make marks on paper. <laughs> I uh, tweeted the um, the link for TanglePatterns.com. Of course, that's the link, TanglePatterns.com. Y'all might want to pull that up because we're going to do a little random uh, choosing of which tangle we use. So I think I'm going to start the day but with show and tell. That uh, seems to get me going since I haven't had any coffee yet. Uh, bad. <laughs> very bad, very bad. Okay, let's see. Let's start with, here, let me move the uh, tangling accoutrement over there. Okay, uh, we're going to start with a piece of yarn. No, actually this is not yarn. This is an object made from yarn. This is a scarf that I've knitted from Art Yarn. Oh, whispering. Oops. Okay, let me fix the volume. Okay, how's that? Is that better? Okay, how's that? Yeah, can y'all hear me now? I see the bars. I don't know what happened. I see the bars on the thingy moving. So I guess we're good. Okay. <laughs> good deal. Wow, that was weird. At least I had the mic right microphone chosen this time. <laughs> okay, anyway, so this is a scarf I made from my art yarn. Uh, a thick and thin with the gold thread. I showed y'all the... Um, okay, I've got my camera in a different place. Uh, I showed y'all the yarn itself. And uh, then I put uh, fringe on both ends. So y'all have seen this yarn, but now it's a now it's an official a project. So this is about uh, five and a half feet long or six feet or something like that without fringe, and then that adds another two feet. <laughs> so anyway, I had to show you that project. It's done. Now let's go for life book. And I don't, I have the camera adjusted down for tangling and I don't want to move it. So I'm just going to have to work with it a little bit. Um, and y'all are upside down now. So I got to turn the book around. Okay. So this is, this is life book. Um, I'm just going to skip over to, uh, I think I showed you guys this lesson. I can't remember if I showed you this one. This was week six. Where she did some color blocking. Okay. I still want to do some more doodling on this page. Haven't got that. My white pen conked out, so I didn't get to finish what I was wanting to do. Um, this is the next one. Um, I cannot remember who, but I still have some doodling to do on this one as well. Um, I am keeping up. And this is this week's it's not finished. <laughs> but um this is the abstract, and I can't get it all in there, but you guys can kind of get the idea of what it looks like. And I didn't have any um, glue for the um, gold foil, so I used gold paint instead. And I just noticed my little boat has a dragon's head. Wow. So anyway, it's it's kind of a forest. Um, to me, it, it's kind of a forest. So I'll have to show you when I totally get finished. And you'll be able to tell what it is. Anyway, this was week eight. And so um, I'm, I'm caught up except for the doodling parts. There's some still, still some pages that need some doodles. So we're working on that. Um, oh, I bought a new book. Uh, oh, yeah, y'all are upside down. Right. Okay. Um, Watercolor Without Boundaries. There it is. By Ms. Carlin Holman of the Elegant Writer from, what was that last week? I don't remember. Anyway, 
Yeah. <laughs> so, but I got a new book, and sure enough, there's a section on the elegant writer in here. This I haven't. It just came yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to look at it. But it looks really interesting. There's some different techniques in here that that um, different ways of doing things, and I I can't wait to play with it. Um, but it looks like a great book. She's also got videos that go with it. And I'll, I'll, when I get into this, I'll, I'll um, tell y'all where, where those are and everything. Um, okay, and one more thing is my challenge from, oops, from Darcy and Jonna. Okay, Scrappy Camper Sisters Stick It Down Challenge. Okay, so I've gotten most of it in here. Um, there's about little more than a dozen things I haven't gotten yet because I don't I don't fly <laughs> so like an airline thing um no <laughs> but I've gotten most everything else oh that's right you guys are upside down I forget my camera's in a different I didn't didn't have a chance to put the camera back up on the roof so because it requires a ladder and all that but you can see that I've gotten a lot done um, and I'm just randomly collaging it all down and just, there's some fold outs and, and whatnot. When I have a better camera position, I can show it a little bit better, but it's, um, yeah, it's a little difficult right now. Oh yeah, that has a fold out, but I've gotten most of the things. Like I said, I just have a little, a little left to do, but it's, it's fun. I mean, it's it's just it's really fun, and I still got some more pages that I can use. But I'm getting there. Eee, getting there. Yay! <laughs> oh yeah, when they made the this is the faux uh, faux dory, the the duck dory from Duct Tape. Yeah, it's on on uh, Darcy and Jonas' blog. If somebody has the the blog address, you can go ahead and stick it in because links are open. Yeah, but this is the duck dory, which is was fun to make. <laughs> I just couldn't find the right elastic. I still don't know where that stupid elastic is. The zebra dory. <laughs> Good one, Linda. <laughs> so I had to use some uh, scrap elastic I had in the jar. And, and get it made, but it's made, you know, and if I find the other elastic, I, I may switch it out, but yeah, so, okay, so that's, that's my duck dory and the challenge well underway. Okay, so today I felt like zentangling, so I guess that's what we're going to do today. Um, I don't know if you guys remember my little purse kit. That I carry around with golf pencils, uh, a small stump, and ATC um, cards already cut. This goes in the purse and travels with me. And yeah, I get really, really detailed. Okay, let's turn it this way. Eck. <laughs> like I said, my camera's in a totally different place. But I use the 005 micron to do this with. It took a long time, but that's okay because that's the whole point. <laughs> Doing something, right? That's the whole point. So that goes with me in my purse. And usually what I'll do is I have a a um a tiny and I can't find it. I don't know. It must be my other purse. But it's a tiny little printout of the um Tangle, whoops, the Tangle book that um, Linda from TangoPatterns.com puts out. And this is my notebook where I've taken um, each one and cut it and put it in a little pocket. This is like a coin collector um, page. You get these at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, you know, they're uh, coin collector pages. But I've taken um, a two by two background just from random scrapbook paper and stuck them in there and then um, put 
each tangle on its own page. And of course there are, you know, the new ones from, from um, the recent edition I haven't put in here yet because I haven't printed it. I haven't had time. I've been too busy spinning yarn uh, <laughs> to do much of anything else. But um, so I thought today we might go on her website and use the randomizer that she's got. Oops, bump the camera. Okay, that's not good. Be careful. Um, I'm going to have to move it. Not going to sit. Okay, anyway, um, use the randomizer and then uh, fill in uh, this page with things. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just like, I was inspired by a rock path. Okay, and I figure if I take tangles and fill them in, you know, it's good practice. It's real good practice. So I have my full collection of microns here, which I keep in a little plastic. Um, what is this from? This is from Kraft cheese. You know, the sprinkle on Parmesan cheese for spaghetti. Yeah, that's what this is without the lid, of course. But uh, since I use it, I don't keep the lid on it. But it keeps the pens in the same place and it keeps them horizontal on my little shelf over here. So, <clears throat> okay, pardon me. I have an allergy problem. I need to get a drink of water real quick. And I hate to tell you guys this, but it's 60 degrees here today. It's supposed to get into the 70s. <laughs> We've been freezing and then here it gets warm again and then I think we oops hit the camera again uh, we've got I think a couple of days of warm and wet and then it's supposed to get really cold again I think on Sunday so um, with another front coming through bummer but anyway we get a little respite however the mold count is up along with elm and something else the cedar might even be there I really don't know <laughs> It's bugging me anyway. Okay, so let me dig through my microns. I want my number one to start with. I think that there it is. Okay, so I'm going to go to tanglepatterns.com and hit the randomizer. So let me see what I'll do with that page. That page is uh, here. It is. Let me bring it down here. I got too many tabs open. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, and if you go if on the first page, if you scroll down on the left-hand side, there is a random tangle selector. And what you do is you, you um, get out your PDF copy of your tangle guide, whichever version you have. I just got the new one. haven't been able to print it out yet. Um, and... Let me see. Let me find. I thought it said page four. Oh, it's page six. Ah, <laughs> I guess I read that wrong. Um, let me see. So the randomizer. Let me see what it says. Um, <laughs> you have to use the one the machine picks. No cheating. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so it says um, number, pattern, columns. Yeah. Okay, and then. Use the tangle where the two rolled number. Oh, that's for dice. Okay, I'm trying to read this and I'm not sure I understand what that means, but okay, I'm going to put that aside for a second and go ahead and go to the selector. And I'm going to put in 1, and I'm going to put in 50, and hit choose, and I'll see what happens. Okay, I have a 29, so I guess I better write that down somewhere. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry about that. I print some paper. It doesn't have something written on it already. <coughs> okay, 29. And I'm going to hit choose again. And it's got 20. I'm going to write these down in order. I'm just going to do five. 
39, choose again, 23, one more time, it says 20 again. Well, that's not fair. No, no, no. I don't want to repeat on the page. 39, nope. Try that again. 42, that's better. All right, we'll go with 42. Of course, now we have to figure out which tangles those are. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to my tangle guide. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'm talking you through it. Okay, so I'm going to my tangle guide and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, so basically the first two pages. So we'll do something off the first two pages of the actual tangles. So it says 29, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So Arnia, whatever that is. So I'm going to write that down next to this. Let's see. Arnia. I have no idea what that is. That's a new one to me. All right. Number 20, 5, 10, 15, 20 is Amphora. That's a new one to me too. Good. <laughs> Amphora. Okay. And the next one's 39. So I'm going to go to the next page. Um, oh, dear. Let me see. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 will be balance. Because there's some blanks on this page plus the number, the letter B. So we're going to go with balance. Ballas, B A L L A C E. E. That's a new one to me too. Yay. 23, back to the other page. Anti dots. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> and 42, back to the other page. Barber pole. Okay. I've done that before. Barber pole. Okay, so I've got five to work with. Now let's see if I can uh, find instructions for these guys. Okay, Arnia was the first one. Go back to the first page. Arnia. Where'd he go? Arnia. Okay, I'm going to have to look it up. It, oh, it might take me to the page. Let me click it. Um, it might take me right to the page. Yes. Took me to the page. Okay, now I have the instructions here. Of course, I can't see you guys, but <laughs> I have the instructions here. So let me figure out how I'm going to get all this stuff on the screen. Hang on just a second. I think I can... I know there's a way. Let's see. Arnia is A-R-N-I-A. -A. If you go up to the top of one of the uh, pages on tanglepatterns.com, there's the a listing of her by alphabet, so you can uh, pull it up. Just hit A and you can pull it up and find it. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get it on the screen. Oh, I know. I'm going to pull it over on the side. There it is. All right. And I'm going to pull it up in the Windows um, photo viewer thingamajiggy. Okay. And I'm going to shrink that down and move it over so I can see it. Okay. Now coming back to my page <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing here too. And pull back the chat. Okay. The link, um, let's see, it's um, tanglepatterns.com. Here, let me type it for you in the chat. Ah, yes, I can. Tanglepatterns.com. There, did that come out? Can you see it? Did that work? Okay, good. Yay. All right. Okay, so let me set that up here. Okay, so we're going to be doing Arnia. Okay, so Arnia, I'm just going to pick a random pebble <laughs> and see if I can uh, 
do it. I need kind of a long one though. I think I'm going to try this one right here because Arnia is kind of a long tangle. Okay, so we start out with lines. Okay, so a double line. Okay, so I'm going to just start making lines. Line, and obviously I use a different pen. Uh, of, I think I use the number eight to actually make the pebbles. Okay, this pen is not working very well. I don't know why, but it isn't. Let me try my, let me get a pit. Let me get the extra small pit and see if I'm going to have any better luck. Hmm. Yeah, that number one just doesn't want to work right now. Okay, so let me try this one instead. Let me go back over it without making a mess. Hmm, better than expected. <laughs> Y'all let me know if I need to get in closer or if I'm off camera. Do I need to get in closer to, for you guys? I think so, because I, I can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, let me find my camera. Camera switch here. And I'm going to zoom in some more slowly because it freaks the camera out and it freezes Ustream if I try to need to move all my pins. Freezes Ustream if I try to uh, do it too fast. I wonder if I can move the camera closer to me because that's kind of a reach. Let me see what I can do here. I can move it a little bit that way and then I can put the book back where I can okay there I think that'll do let's see if I can get a little bit closer for you guys because I don't try not to get in the way okay I think that's about as far as I can get <laughs> okay and try to keep my hand out of the way all right okay I got one more line to do over again because that pen just didn't want to work Wow, how about that? Good day for tangles. Okay, now it says to make arches. Okay, so now we're going to do arches like this. And leave a space between them. Okay, can you guys see what I'm doing okay? I know I got kind of shadows here because I'm not at my counter. I'm at the desk. And that one's kind of going off that way. And that one's kind of going off that way. Okay. That's to start with. Now, then you put another arch on the inside of that. Okay. So let's do that. And arch on the inside. So we've got like a double line. <laughs> My hand's making noise on the, the mat here. Okay, that's the next step. Now, let's see, what's next? Um, okay, now we have little lines going between them at the top. Okay, so if you guys are following me, I've got, um, let me see, oh, I've got to rearrange my window again. Wait a minute. My chat got messed up. <laughs> Can't see you guys. Okay, there. Okay, so. Arches between, so there's little arches that go, and it's a, again a double line, like so. And this is the first time I've done this one, this is a new one. From last year, and I know you guys may know that my mom broke her leg last year, and uh, I moved in with her for a couple months, so it's like, um, yeah, everything came to a screeching halt. 
including my keeping up with anything <laughs> and everything. Okay, double lines between. That's kind of cute. Okay, the next step is to make an upside down Y inside the tall arches. Okie dokie. So we're going to make an upside down Y and it appears to hit the corners. So I don't know the best way to do it. Probably to do this first and then do that. Okay, and let me try it the other way. And like you can't make a straight line for some reason. Okay, I think I like doing it this way better. You try to center it, but you know, it doesn't have to be. Okay, make the little lines. And then the last step is filling in one side of that for shading. Okay, we can do that. So I'm just gonna make, well, you can fill it in. I'm just gonna make lines to fill it in. I'm not going to do it solid. You could. Main thing is not to get confused as to where you're at. <laughs> okay, isn't that cute? Oh, that's really cute. Oh, goodness. Okay, let me see if I can keep it in the camera. Okay, and it's upside down to you guys at the moment. Because if I'm, I'm looking, not at the book, I'm looking at the projection on the screen so I can keep it in there. But let me see if I can turn it over without shocking y'all too much, freaking out the camera. Whoopsie. Okay, there we go. Right side up. Okay. So there, that one is Arnia, A-R-N-I-A. -A. Okay, so we're all learning these together here for the most part. Okay, getting warm. Shirt off. Whew. Okay, and I suppose you could take this and do, um, let's see. Okay, now I'm going to try something here. I'm going to pretend I'm going to make another row of it up there. And we're just going to see the top of the line on this one. Not going to really see anything except the tiny little points. Okay. And now I'm going to see if I can stay in the camera. <laughs> and if I can get this like I'm looking at it, another row. Double lines, double lines. Okay, and you don't really see anything else except the Y. And then filling in that side because there's no place to put you know, the other. So, okay, so we're pretending there's another row of it up there. Now, let's see, what can we do in between? Um, hmm. What can we do in between? She's got some examples of just that pattern. And I'm only looking at the picture, so I am i can't really see what she's done. Um, okay, let me go to, let me go back to the page. Oh, pulled up the wrong thing. Wait, I don't need you right now. Hang on. <laughs> I'm going to need the actual web page that it was on. Let's see what she's got as an example. Um, okay, she's done them. Linda has done them uh, where one is one way and then she's reversed it on the other side. That's pretty cool too. But I don't think I have room to do that. 
on here. So well, let's just do some let's just do some circles. Just to fill it in. I don't like it to look too blank. Just get it filled in, keeping the circles the size of the space. Excuse the creaking of my little desk here. Okay, and there's probably some more I would do to that, but that's good for right now. So we'll go with that one. All right. Um, oh, sorry, kicking the camera. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to close Arnia. And let's see if I can pull up. Pull up the Tangle Patterns PDF file again, and I'm looking for Amphora now. Let's see. Uh, that's right here. Let me click on that, and hopefully, it'll open the web page for me. Here it comes. Amphora is A M P H O R A. So, if you still have the A page open, you can find it. Um, I gotta hunt the instructions. Let's see where are they? Oh, I have to another link. Okay, so I have to go to another link. Open in a new window because I'd like to also see what Linda has done with it. Oh, pretty page. Takes me to her website. Okay, so I'm apparently gonna have to open that to get it a size where I can see it. All right, and now I'm going to pull that over to my desk and then pull that up into the photo viewer. There it is, and it's perfect size already because I closed it there. All right, perfect. Okay, now let me get my Ustream window back up here so I can get the chat back. Okay, now let's see. M4. This one starts out with a grid. Okay, let me see. Where are we going to put this one? Let's put it. Oh, let's put it right here. Okay, so this one starts out with a grid. Apparently, you have dots. And you space them out. Okay, this is this is kind of complicated. All right, let's see. Let me see if I can space my, okay, let me put some dots first. Let me start with dots. And you gotta have enough room to add curlicues and things. So, let's see if I can get the grid locked in. And luckily it's a square grid, so it's not too Difficult to space. All right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is where I'm working now, right here. Okay, I have my dots and straight lines down. Okay, so the straight lines down between the dots. So now I'm obliterating my dots. Okay, that's not good. Let's see. Oh, we're supposed to color them in. Oh, make them bigger. Gotcha. Gotta pay attention. 
Okay, so they should be bigger dots. Because you have to see them. <laughs> Of course, I guess they could be different shapes too. You could do like diamonds or, you know, something like that. Doesn't have to be a circle. Okay, so bigger dots with lines through them. So I'm going to make my lines. And I'm not sure where it's going, so I'm not going to do any past the dots for now. Okay, just straight up and down. Okay, the next one is we are making on every other line that we have, we're going to make scallops. Okay, so we're going to scallop around the circles like so. And on the other side, I think we're trying to come out in the middle. I think that was the deal. I did that kind of wonky, but that's okay. We're learning on every other one. So we're kind of making a scallop and doing it centered, apparently. And they don't meet on the ends, unless of course you want them to. This is just in the sample. So every other one scale up into the center and I hope I have enough space not sure okay that's step two next step let's see we've got curly cues okay so we're making swirls in the center of the, okay so we're making swirls downward. I guess it doesn't matter, but I'm going to do what the picture says. So swirls. And you know what? I've got them too big. Not enough space. Okay, we're just going to make up something. <laughs> These are supposed to be smaller. There's not enough. I don't have enough space between them. So we're kind of sort of going to do amphora since I don't have enough space. Then I'll do it again someplace else. But you're supposed to put swirls, two swirls, between the lines. How do you, hmm. That would make those smaller than, okay, hmm. <laughs> this requires some thinking. This is very strange. This one has me Confused. Um, she didn't. Okay. Oh, she does have diamond shapes. Okay. This is so small. I need to make it bigger. I can't really see it. That's part of the problem. Is I can't really see it because it's not very big. And now I can't get it to enlarge. There it goes. Okay, so, okay, she did have diamonds. Okay, she drew dots, then she drew diamonds. Then she drew lines. See, this is more than, that's more steps. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this one has me confused because what she's, what she's saying do, let me do it over here. Okay, so dot, 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 
dot. Apparently, I do not have enough room to do what she was saying. So, diamonds. Might be better to do the line first. Yeah, that, okay, do the, do the dots, do the line. Oh, I'm not in the camera. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> I forget I'm not in my other setup. Do the diamonds, so, and they're straight across from each other. All right, so this is what she's got. So do, can't do a straight line. Diamonds on the dots. And you can fill those in. I'm going to do this real quick. Okay, and then it was scallops around in the center, around in the center, around in the center. On every other one. Okay, and then she's got. Okay, then she's got this business going on here. And she's got one oh you know what I had done it right okay now that I've enlarged the thing okay now I can see I did it right okay <laughs> never mind I was doing it right here's what we got going on now okay there so I was doing it right Never mind. My goodness. I just enlarged the thing so I could actually see it. That would be helpful. And yes, it does matter which way the swirls go. Yep. Okay, now I've got it. All right, now, let me see. Let me go ahead and do the diamonds, because I think that's cute. Kind of hard to talk and do this at the same time. So, concentration required. At least today. Then I have to try to figure out how to fill it in. So then I need to make my line go down and up. And try to continue the scallops. Although you can't see that whole diamond. Part one. Line going up. This one's going to take a little practice. And I'm going to have to look at the chart every time I do it. 
<laughs> at least for a while, unless I do it a lot. Because mine doesn't look near as good as hers does. Okay, so that's the basic tangle right there. That's M4. So I'm going to write that down over here. And this one was Arnia. Okay, so what I'm doing is on the opposite page of my book, which is running into something, I'm writing the names of them down in the approximate location of where they are on the other side. So Arnie is in the bottom left corner, so that's where I wrote it on the other page. And this one is kind of is second from the top, so that's what I did there. I don't do that all the way through here, but um, I think when I'm learning new ones, it's helpful. And there's some variations on this thing. It's really pretty. Very pretty. And she's got it on a curved line. That's very cool. I'm going to have to practice that one for sure. Very cool. Okay, let's move. Thanks, guys. Let's move on to another one. And... Uh, the next one on my list is Ballas. Oops, my screen just went crazy. Okay, hold on. All right, stabilize. I don't know what happened. <laughs> my screen just went nuts. Okay, uh, we seem to be good. Continuing on. All right, now I got to find Ballas, which is on the next page. And yes, it's giving me a link. Good. Okay, let me pull that one over. And grab it in the photo viewer. Okay, I'm gonna have to enlarge it because I can't see it very well. And then I've got to rearrange my windows just a little bit. Check back in the front. Okay, now. Okay, so Ballas, B A L L A C E. I'm going to make it bigger so I can see it to begin with. Okay, so it's another linear design. looks like four steps can also be done on a curve we won't be doing that right at first though <laughs> okay let's pick a place to put this one I think I want that one in here so we have another sort of a grid so I'm gonna do dots And there's two lines kind of close together. So let's try this. All right. And then you make lines between. So make the dots bigger. And then we're doing curvy lines between each dot. Trying to center everything apparently. And then inwards on the other side. So we're kind of looks lacy. Very nice. Another dot up there. That one goes off that way. All right, the next step is we're making the filled in arches between the dots on this side. And it's not all the way across.
cute. All right, and now the opposite way on the other side. This must be one from 2014. I have not seen this one before. Okay, let me see. And that one, oh yeah, this one needs one too. I'm just doing one line of it right at the moment. Let me stay in the camera. <laughs> okay, let's see. Just bumping the camera, sorry. Okay, now we've got kind of, I don't know what you call these things, but uh, I'm going to turn my book in order to do it. It's kind of a an arch, but it's different. So between the, the big dots, over the filled in half moon. Okay, so we're not touching the dots. We're not touching the half moon, so we're going in between, arch up and down. Hmm, interesting. A little bit wonky, but that's okay. All right now, I gotta turn it around and go the other way. Am I? Where am I? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> So you have to try to see ahead. Okay. And that looks like it. That's it. Basically three steps. Okay, well, easy enough. Now, let's see, let's fill it in. Let's see if I can do it this side. These go this way. Fill this in. Arch. Okay, that's basically it. It's really pretty simple. Once you break it down, and then you can do them closer together. Let's see what her example looks like. Okay, she, oh, that's really pretty. She's got a, she's echoed it. Okay, so she's made an echo line. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let me try that. So she's got an echo line going on here. I don't know how to do that between two of them. I've got them too close together to do it. Okay, let me do them this side. So then she's got it going over this and up. Over that and up. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, let me see what I can do with it over here. So I can make it two. Oh, I like that. 
All right, now let me echo in the middle. I'm going to do something weird. Just because that's what I want to do. Interesting. And then she's got tiny circles on the outside of her echo, hmm, which is not really going to work. And I've got two of them together, but I'm going to do it on this side. I really should have my 005. Kind of big. Interesting. Am I in camera? Yes. Okay, good. I'm just going to do some lines that go just straight across. Like so. Fill that in. Interesting. Okay, so show you that one. Just doing some different things on the inside just to play. <laughs> okay. There, now you can see all three. Okay, so this one is called Ballast, B-A-L-L-A-C-E. I still want to play with it. Sorry guys, can't quit. <laughs> we'll get to the next one in a minute. First things first. I gotta play some more. It's just too much fun to leave it alone. Okay, enough. <laughs> there. Just had to add some more little tiny things just to fill it in. <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> anti dots. Well, I don't have to look up anti dots because I know how to do that one. So I'm going to put that over here. Get in the camera. There we go. All right, so anti dots. Y'all can look that one up. This is one of my faves. I love doing this one. Also, when I have a, uh, when I'm just, when I don't have a defined area, I just like to keep going and not lift the pen. That's fun too. I just heard a crow. Hmm, must be flying over. Interesting.
These birds must think it's spring. The trees do too. The trees are all budding. Poor things. If it freezes again, which it's supposed to next week, they're going to have to start all over. This is kind of taking on like a shell shape. That's kind of cool. I'm a little more organized with my anti dots. They're more linear than usual. <laughs> kind of weird. Hmm. Different way of doing it, which is the whole point of learning. Yes, we seem to have crow outside. That's weird. We don't usually. Must be passing through. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not. So we have linear antidots. <laughs> Write that down on that side. All right, the next one. Barber pole. Okay, I have to look that one up. <laughs> I make it look easy, huh? <laughs> Barber pole. Coming up. Oops, the link is no longer there. Oh, that's weird. Page not found. Hmm. Okay, that's really odd. Okay, that's really weird. I'm going to have to email her about that one. Where's the link? <laughs> not there. Okay, well, I'm just going to look at the picture then and um, go for it. There goes my mail person. Smack the box shut. I have a giant mailbox and so they always slam it. I don't know why. They don't have to. It, But they do. <laughs> Maybe it's fun. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just fun for them. I don't know, but okay. Let's do barber pole by looking at whoops my tangle patterns page, and it's just one line, two lines. Okay, so all barber pole is. I think I'm going to put it right here since it's little. Is striping. Because I'm not shading any of this right now, so. And all we're going to do is a lot of lines. And you want the barber pole to look curved. So you curve your lines. And you can, with you, uh, when you do your shading, you can get concave and convex lines. And of course, you can do all that. But I think, let me see, let me go ahead and color in, provided I can get brush pen. Yes, brush pen. Works well. Goes quickly. Let's 
and this is the basic barber pole. Okay. You can do all kinds of things to get it dimensional. You can make it shiny, make it look shiny. There's all kinds of things to do. But what I want to do is make... I'll just show you guys my pen holder I made. <laughs> Haven't done that yet. Okay, so now I'm going to make my lines going the other way because I want it to look like it's going in a wave up and down, up and down. Oh, wait, let me move. I'm going to move something here. There we go. Now I can see. Okay. Uh, there. <laughs> okay, so here's my basic barber pole. Now I'm going to do small lines the other way. So I've got concave and convex, I hope. <laughs> and you just curve your lines and put them close together. And keep curving. And if your other lines curve, curve with it. It just looks more natural that way. Okay, and let me show it to you close up because I know it's hard for y'all to see being that small. Okay, see how we've got, see how the curves are going two different ways? Oh, my camera's not focusing very well, sorry. I don't have autofocus on. But you've got um, curves going up. And then you've got curves going down. Can you see how that's happening? Keep turning it. Sometimes your perspective changes which way is, which ones are going in and which ones are going over. If you turn it, your perspective changes. Let me see how to hold it this way. <laughs> My camera is in a totally different spot and you guys are upside down so I'm trying to get your perspective so you can see the difference okay barber pole third one down write that down barber pole if I could spell p-o-l-e not p-l-o-e <laughs> okay all right, that was the fifth one. And you know what, guys? It's going to be a short stream today. I am out of gas. <laughs> I am uh, just about done. Is there any questions on any of this? Okay, y'all just go to tanglepatterns.com and get all of the patterns. And she's got the new edition of the PDF out that has all of the patterns in it. And um, you too can make a book. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for hanging out. I know it's a short stream today. Sorry. Low energy day. <laughs> oh, y'all are welcome. Thanks for hanging out. We'll try to do better next week. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>